Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to do the Tunisian plait stitch. So for this pattern, you can start with any yarn of your choosing and I'll also be using a four millimeter crochet hook as well. Now the Tunisian plait stitch can be done with any odd number of stitches. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be starting with 11 chains. Now I'm going to start by doing a traditional Tunisian foundation, which means that I'm going to start by pulling up loops going across the row. Insert your hook into that second stitch from the hook and pull up a loop. And we're going to do that in each stitch going across the row. So insert your hook inside the stitch, pull up a loop, and we're going to do that until we're at the end of the row. Next we're going to do a traditional return pass, and we start that by chaining one, and then we're going to yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and we're gonna do that until we only have one loop remaining on our hook. So yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Now the Tunisian plait stitch uses both the full stitch, the Tunisian full stitch and the Tunisian simple stitch to complete the pattern. Now I've done tutorials on both which I'll leave in the description below as well as in the cards above so that if you're really new to Tunisian crochet you can go ahead and learn the basics. Now to do a full stitch we work in between the vertical bar. So we already have a loop on our hook. You'll notice these vertical bars going all the way across the row. For the full stitch, we're going to work in between the space of each of the vertical bars here. Now we're going to start the full stitch by doing it in between the first and second vertical bar. And pull up a loop. And then we're going to do a full stitch beside that. So between the second and third vertical bar, we're going to pull up a loop. Now in the vertical bar directly beside that stitch where we just did a full, this vertical bar here, we're going to do a simple stitch. To do a simple stitch, insert your hook behind the bar and pull up a loop. And then we're going to do two full stitches following that. So again, we're going to work in between the vertical bars. So directly beside the stitch where we did the simple, we're going to do a full stitch in the middle of the bars. And then in, the, in between these two bars, we're going to do a full stitch. And the vertical bar that comes directly beside it, so here, we're going to work a simple stitch. And then we're going to do two full stitches. So that's really the pattern going across the row where we do two full and then a simple, two full and then a simple, two full and so on. So I just did a simple stitch and in the space directly beside it, we're going to do a full stitch. And then we're going to follow that with a full stitch. And in the vertical bar directly beside the full stitch we just did, I'm going to do a simple stitch. Then we're gonna do our full stitch. So one, two, followed by a simple stitch. And then we're gonna do a full stitch. And in the last space in between the two last vertical bars, we're going to do another full stitch. Now in the final stitch of the row, I'm going to be working into the last vertical bar. But if you turn it to the side, you'll also see a bar coming from the back as well. 
So I'm actually going to work my hook through both, just like that, and then I'm going to pull up a loop. Now we're going to end our row with way more loops in the hook than our foundation, and that's, that's okay, that's pretty normal, and that's because on the reverse pass, we're not going to be doing that like a traditional re reverse pass, we're going to be doing it you know, fairly different, but it's also really easy and simple to remember. So we're gonna start by chaining one. So our, our reverse pass, it does start by chaining one, but that's going to be followed by yarning over and pulling through three. So pull through one, two, three loops, and then we're gonna yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through one, two loops and then we're going to yarn over and pull through three so one two three yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through three one two three yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through three yarn over pull through two, yarn over, pull through, three, and for the last one we're going to yarn over and pull through two. Now this plait stitch, it's a one row repeat. I think after you've done, you know, the second row, so that would be our foundation row, followed by our first row of plait stitches, then it really becomes easy because you're really just going to repeat what you've done in the last row and it's also much easier to identify where to do the full stitch versus where to do the simple I feel going forward now to identify that going across the row you'll notice that there are some inverted V that are or patterns would have formed from the previous row so this would have been the first it's like an upside down V and we'll notice that going all the way across the row but we'll also notice that beside the stitches there are some smaller vertical bars that are beside them going across the row. Now in the space between our first vertical bar, so here, and the beginning of our first upside down V, so the stitch that's slanted this way we're going to do our first full stitch so we're going to insert it between both bars and pull up a loop and then we're going to be doing another full stitch in between these two so this would be the V the stitch that's slanted this way as well as the smaller vertical bar that we would have identified as well so in between those two, we're going to do a full stitch, pull up a loop. And the full stitches for this row will go on either side of that upside down V. And then beside that, where we have that smaller vertical bar, we're going to do a simple stitch. And that's going to be followed by two full stitches. So again, the, those go on either side of that upside down V do a full and then in the smaller vertical bar we do a simple stitch and you see the V's going across so it's really easy to identify where we do our full stitches versus where we do our simple stitches and we're gonna do that until we're at the end of the row And in the last V of the row, we're going to end by doing two full stitches. And again, we're going to have way more loops on our hook as our foundation chains, but that's totally normal. For me, I know I'm on the right track when I end with two full stitches. Now, once you're doing this, you're always going to end with two full stitches. So once I've done that, I know that I'm on the right track 
and then I'm going to end the row here by inserting my hook not only to the top of the last vertical bar of the row but in its back bar as well so insert my hook through both and then pull up a loop and that's gonna keep the left side of my stitch pattern really neat so I'm gonna chain one to start my return pass and then I'm going to yarn over and pull through three so that's one two three and I'm gonna yarn over and pull through two one two yarn over pull through three one two three yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through three one two three yarn over pull through two one two yarn over pull through three one two three yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through three one two three yarn over pull through two and you can already see the plait stitches coming to life here and then we're gonna repeat that so it's a one row repeat so we're gonna do exactly what we did in the last row so we're gonna start by doing two full stitches which goes on either side of or upside down or inverted V's so we're gonna insert our hook and do a full stitch and that's going to be followed by a simple stitch in the short vertical bars that's also going across the row in those bars we do a simple stitch that's going to be followed by two full stitches one two and then in that short bar we're going to do a simple stitch followed by two full and then a simple followed by two fulls and then a simple stitch followed by two full stitches and we always remember that for our last bar we work to the top of the bar but also in the corresponding back bar as well and then we're gonna pull up a stitch chain one to start the return pass and then we're gonna yarn over and pull through three yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through three yarn over pull through two and we're gonna do that all the way until we're at the end pull through three then two three two three two and there you have it that's how you do the Tunisian plat stitch now this is the final look if you liked this video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so as yet. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!